A pregnant woman is attacked with a screwdriver over an apparent case of road rage in the Bronx. Tonight, police to continue to search for the suspect. And as CBS 2's Ali Bauman reports, the woman says the assault led to the loss of her baby. The victim says the suspect had been following her in his car for blocks. She tried to escape, but he crashed into her. Moments later, he was standing over her with a screwdriver. The surveillance video is hard to watch. A man moves in on a woman along Grand Concourse, then begins to stab her with a screwdriver. She tries to defend herself, but the man does not relent. He was aiming at my neck like he was really trying to kill me. 26-year-old Estrella Guzman is still recovering one month later. She says the attack was sparked by road rage. He was trying to bash my car with his car. I don't know what was wrong with him, so I, like, sped up. I, like, moved out of his way. I ended up even, like, I ended up, like, running a red light, like, trying to see because he was literally, like, tailgating me. Once he crashed into her, Guzman says she got out of her car to ask what his deal was. Choked me by the neck, pinned me to the car, and then just started stabbing me. In my head, I'm just thinking, I'm coming home to my son, to my seven-year-old son today. I'm not going to die like this, you know. I'm not, I'm not, this is not the way I'm going out. Bystanders eventually intervened, and the man got back in his silver BMW and drove away. Guzman, bleeding from her head, went to the hospital, where she learned she was three months pregnant. Two weeks later, she suffered a miscarriage. She went to the doctor and said because it could be the stress or the, the injury itself. It's just hard. It's really hard. The scars are starting to heal, but Guzman says without an arrest, it will be hard to move on. I just really need um, them to find them because this could have been anybody's sister, anybody's mother, anybody's grandmother, and he really wouldn't have cared who it was. Guzman says she hasn't had a good night's sleep since this happened. Authorities are asking anyone with information to call the NYPD. In the Fordham section of the Bronx, Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News.